What is going on guys, one more same ring as a brand new episode of NFL Station, the spin-off show from my favorite show, Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. But we're not talking about Washington football today, but first, before I go into the topic, speaking about Washington, congratulations to Taylor Heineke on his two-year $8.5 million extension. Super proud of him. He well does, he's deserved so much. He's so hardworking, and it sh makes me so happy just to see this form. You know, who knows what position he'll have on a team next year? But obviously, he has a planned role with this deal, and I am ecstatic. I hope if you're a Washington fan that you are, and yeah. So congratulations, Taylor Heineke. Round of applause. Let's give a round of applause to Taylor Heineke. All right, good deal. Now let's get into the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 55. Was it like I called it? Was it a blood or was it a low-scoring game? No, it was both. It was both. And I can't say I'm mad, I can't say I'm mad about that because I really wanted a more intense game. And it, it was intense. I really enjoyed it. Uh, first of all, Antoine Winfield, my favorite player that night. I love the peace sign. A lot of people were like, what is that for? That wasn't needed. And I'm like, oh, I knew exactly what that was for. And that was amazing. The peace sign when he... Um, Got the interception, one an interception right over Tyre, um, not Ty Tyree Kill, and uh, yeah, that was that was awesome to watch. I was like, I was laughing my tail off when I saw that. I'm like, oh my goodness, that's amazing. Um, before I really get into the game, halftime show was great. I really enjoyed the halftime show. The weekend did a fantastic job. I really enjoyed. He looked like he was just so happy the whole time. The production was amazing. All of it was so good. I really enjoyed every piece of it. Um, great show. I love Blinding Lights. I love The Hills. I love Can't Feel My Face. I love Star Boy. I, I love um, I Feel It Coming. I, there's a, and there's one more. I just can't remember the name of it. But all the songs I, I love and I listen to a lot. So it was really cool seeing them perform live. And um. Well, let's get to the actual Super Bowl, you know. We're talking about everything but the actual Super Bowl. And what was the Super Bowl? Super Bowl was absolutely great. I really enjoyed it. It was because I was pulling for Brady. I was. And that's the reason I enjoyed it. If I wasn't pulling for Brady, I, I would have hated it. But I enjoyed it because I wanted him to get a 7-3. People were like, hey, he has enough. I'm like, okay, fair enough. He has enough. But I want to see how much he can get. I mean, he's already at the GOAT level. And anybody that tries to even compare Pat Mahomes to that level, Stop. You, you, you've you been proven wrong. Just shut up and sit down. Okay? Sit down. Listen to me. So, yeah, Brady got a 7-3. And, I mean, seeing him get two TDs with Gronk was amazing. Um, Getting Antonio Brown. Just seeing Antonio Brown, the way he's worked himself back from his former situation is just absolutely amazing to watch. It's um inspiring. And, um... Wow, it was it was a great game. I I so enjoyed watching it, and the defense for Tampa Bay, whoo, man, Tampa Bay's defense. Oh my goodness, Pat Mahomes couldn't pull a Taylor Heineke and score on them. He didn't score all night. Let's go. The streaker scored more than the Chiefs did that night. I mean, round of applause to the streaker. Won that three hundred seventy-five thousand dollar bet. Smart man, smart man. All he had to do was get tackled by police and get three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, if that's true. Um, but a little asterisk by that. Um, uh, but that was amazing and hilarious to watch. Um, thank, thank. I'm, I'm so thankful to TikTok that uh videos of the full streaking event came up. That was amazing. Um, yeah, the second half, uh, was good. First half was good. There was just some. Miscues by the Chiefs, you know, credit to Pat Mahomes running 497 yards to escape Tampa Bay's defense. I mean, it's, it's pathetic and it's amazing at the same time. You don't know exactly how to feel about that stat. Um, but it's it's a stat, that's for sure. And uh, it was amazing to watch, great watch. And, yeah, I'm so happy for Brady. I'm sorry for Pat, but trust me, I think Pat's going to be back many times. This is only the beginning for Pat Mahomes, and I think we're not even close to the end of Tom Brady. So it's going to be a fun matchup for years ahead. Um, I'm excited to face. I think we're facing Tampa Bay again next year. I'm excited to do that again because I believe we could have we could have beaten Tampa Bay, and by that we could have beaten any team that's um, in the playoffs because you know they came out on top. 
So, you know, we played, we gave the Buccaneers their best game of the um, postseason. I'm not saying as a Washington fan, I'm saying as an NFL fan. And um, it was just great to watch. So happy for Brady. Um, you know, this is a this is a, just a a small hiccup in Pat Mahomes and the whole Chiefs career. But you know, getting Bruce Arians his first Super Bowl as a head coach, and getting AB a Super Bowl, and all these guys that deserve Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Levante Davis, Shaq Barrett, and the Coon Dog Suit, Antoine Winfield Jr. I mean, all these guys that have played such an integral role, Jason Pierre-Paul, all these guys that played such an integral role to this team, seeing it pay off so well. Makes me so happy. Same with, and I'm just gonna keep listing off players. You know, Leonard Fournette. You know, Shalshawn McCoy. You know, he didn't play a snap in either the past two Super Bowls, which he's got a ring from. But hey, he's ring chasing late in his career. Don't hate the game. Don't hate the name. Um, you know, it is what it is. But you know, it's, it was a it was a good end to what the season was. It was unexpected. It was unexpected the Super Bowl was going to be like this, and I think it's a testament to the whole 2020 season that. The way the Super Bowl went was very unexpected. Go figure. Because even though we're in 2021, this is the 2020 season. So that 2020 is still looming over the whole season. You know, with COVID restrictions and stuff. But, yeah, it was a great game to watch. I'm so happy for Tampa Bay and all the players and their families. Um, and whew, the respect I have for Brady is just out there it's so crazy uh i respect the guy i respect his hustle I, I love his story and um it makes me get a little emotional every time i watch back um on tim talking about his draft day and um that you know that gives a drive that's for anyone who's struggling trying to start a career and you know people saying you're not going to make it you're not good enough you know his story is one it's like yeah you can be told you're the worst of everyone but look where he is now so if you don't find that story inspiring, I don't know what story can inspire you. Because this, this is just a true great story. Great person, great player, great story. And I, I just really wanted to hit on that in today's video. Just how much of an impact um, his drive and his career has had an impact on my life. And how I want to project my career. You know, I, don't, I might not get the most views per video, but I don't quit. Because if I quit, then I give up. You know, I'm not, I'm not ever going to quit. It's just, I'm going to keep working, and um, I know because one day it's going to pay off. That was just a little soapbox right there. Not anything in regard to the NFL station, but anyway, we're beginning a new year, 2021-2022 season. Uh, we're off to a great start. I'm excited for this year. I think this year's going to be so much better than the last season um, for all teams. And um, I'm just super excited for this year ahead i will be covering um top stuff around the nfl but you know you'll find me over at washington station um and i'm excited to bring you this show just so i can um widen the variety of topics i can talk about so thank you so much for watching this video Th make sure you subscribe make sure to like this video if you enjoyed make sure that bell button if you haven't already so you're notified every single time of the brand new episode make sure to check out all the links below and i'm with morris and i'm out congratulations tampa bay you deserved it and uh, let's get it. 2021 season. I'm a Morrison. I'm out.